All right, let's create our first project, which is going to be our game. So if you don't still have Unity Hub open, just open the Unity Hub icon. And now in our project tab, we're just going to want to create new project. Okay, and you can see in red here, it's showing the location that's defaulting is not valid. So I need to change that. So I can just click on this and you can set anything you want to be your save location. So I'm going to go to this hard drive here. I'm just going to go to Unity Projects. Okay, so that's where everything I create now is going to be saved. And you can change that for every project. You can save wherever you want it to be. Right here is where you put the project name. So you can name this anything you want. I'm just going to call it My Platformer Course. So this can be literally anything you want for the name. And this is very easy to change later. So as we progress and I come up with a name for what I want this project to be, I can change it. So a lot of the time when you start a project, you don't know what you want to call it. So just make something and then we change it as we go. Now you're going to see all these different templates here. So yours may look a bit different than mine, which is completely fine. Unity has a lot of pre-made templates for different types of games. So if you scroll down, you can see all the, the options here. So the ones that have a border here with this gray background, whatever you want to call it, that's showing that these three here are currently installed. So all of these others aren't yet. So if I was browsing down here and say I saw this one and I wanted to use this, you have an option right here to download the template. So I can just click that. It's going to download and have that ready. And now you can see it has that colored border. So the one we want is actually going to be 2D URP. This should show up here already for you, but if it doesn't, just find it in the list. One thing to note is if you don't see it here, or if you have already multiple versions of Unity installed, up top here, editor version, make sure this is set to the version that we installed. So 2021.3.19 F1 LTS. If this is your first install, that should be the only one. If you have more, just click this arrow. You're going to see them all here and just select it. Now you're going to see 2D URP. And this URP here, what this stands for is Universal Render Pipeline. So this is a, a newer type of rendering that Unity created for their projects. So the 2D core is the old version, just the, the basic one. For this course, it's not going to matter so much, but for the most part, most people nowadays are going to use URP for everything above the, the original render pipeline. So this one is just called the standard renderer. For this course and where you're currently at, don't worry about that at all. I will cover that a bit later just so you understand the differences, but I just wanted to mention it now since we're going to select URP specifically. Okay, so with this one selected, we have our project name, we have the location. We can just hit create project. Now it's going to take a few minutes, it's just going to create that project. All right, and we now have our first Unity project. Let's not get into the Unity editor yet. I'm going to show you that in the next video. Now that we have a project created, I want to take a minute before we move on to show you how that project is saved. So I'm just going to close out of Unity here. I'm going to open Unity Hub again. And now we see the My Platformer course. So this is my project here. It shows the location. If we click these three dots, we get an option that says Show in Explorer. So this is going to bring up Windows Explorer, or if you're on a Mac, it'll bring up the Mac equivalent. Now the things to take note of here is the project folder is the name of the project I made. That's really what stores your project name. It's just this folder name. So you could actually change this here and then update it in the hub anytime you want. Let's open this project and look at it. It's just a normal folder. There's nothing special about the folder. The stuff in it, it's specific to Unity, yes. But this folder is just a regular folder. So say if somebody sent you a Unity project to check out or you downloaded a project from the web somewhere and you want to actually open it. So all you have to do is select this folder in the Unity Hub. So let's go back into this folder for a second here and look at this. So these are regular folders, but the one thing I want to mention is you don't want to make changes in here. So you want to do all of your changes right in Unity itself. As you start adding things to your project, they're going to show up in this assets folder. But until you really know what you're doing, don't make changes in here because some things won't carry over that well. The main point I wanted to show here though is that it's just a regular folder. So if we go back here, 
This is the My Platformer course. Now, if I go into Unity Hub, see, I already have it here, but if I go click these three dots, remove project from list, this is not gonna remove the project from my hard drive from the folder. It's gonna remove it from this history list here. So if I remove it, it's gonna say, if you remove the list, the files will remain on your disk. So let's remove the project. And you know what, just to be precise, I'm gonna remove all of these. Okay, so now I have nothing in here. So this is like a fresh install. So say if you got a new computer or somebody gave you a project, like I said, and you wanna use that project, once you install Unity and Unity Hub, it doesn't know where that is. All you have to do is click the down arrow here, add project from disk, browse to that project, my platformer course, click add project, done. So that's all you have to do. Anytime if you have to move your projects between a hard drive, you wanna move it to an external drive, it's that simple. There's nothing special. There's no importing you have to do, nothing. Unity takes care of all of that. So let's click this again to open our project. And now you notice that since the project's already created, it just opens it. It's a lot faster to load. Okay, so that's enough about projects. Let's leave this video here and I will see you in the next one.